I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, stop respawning! <laughs> no, no, they won't. It bothers me every time I see it. I'm like, I gotta be because, close. Because they're like, what could be in it? Oh. Oh. Same stuff I don't need right now. But what if it's different? Well, see, like in Spyro the Dragon, the treasure chests have uh, gems in them, mm -hmm. right? But then when you break them, they don't come back. So it's like real satisfying to go through the level and the level's empty because you killed the bad guys. Yeah, it means you're done. Yes. So I see these treasure chests and I'm like, ugh. There's oh, no shit to do. Oh, I must have missed that spot. Oh, no, it's the same chest I broke five times now. Yeah. Like, not seeing treasure chests is how I know that I don't need to be in this area anymore. Or, conversely, seeing treasure chests is, no, is how I know that I'm in a new area. In Spyro. Obviously, it's different in this game, but. Oh, I didn't talk to you at all. Hey! Little furry dude! Oh, I thought for a moment you were my muse. You're what? Haven't you ever seen a muse before? It's a little glowing squirrel about I mean, you did go to that one concert. Full of yeah, it's pretty good. Crazy Great. as a lark. Oh, I get it. Like a sidekick. As a matter of fact, <laughs> without pretty my funny. muse, I just can't sculpt. But with her around... I see beauty in everything, you know? Right now, I couldn't chisel my way out of a box. I think she ran away to that misty island. Oh, I just hope she's all right. It's worth a power soap if you bring her back to me. Wait a minute! We are not going back to Misty Island! Are we? We are. So, you know where I can get a dime bag, or...? <laughs> yeah, this dude's totally... That's why he sees the... That's why he sees the little squirrels, dude. He's just fucked. Tiny little squirrels. What? I thought I collected all these things. No. What? I mean, how, how could you not collect it all of them? There's clearly treasure chests all around. Oh, wait, there's Buiko over there? Wait a minute, what was that I just saw? This is a different... Is that... Wait... Is this... This is... Is this the other half of the stage? This is the other half of the stage. Have you never been here before? I mean, I've been here before. I, I actually remembered this area. But I didn't... Yeah, because there's the lizard buffaloes. Oh my god. I think those are just regular buffaloes, actually. They're hiding the lizardiness. Oh my god, there's a whole second half of the zone. Alright, well... Uh, yeah, you need a 20. You only have about 10 now, right? Yeah, okay, well, I was gonna go back to the Sage and get my power self to turn around his vents, but fuck that, I'm exploring this zone. Hell yeah, let's go explore some shit. Well, okay, wait a minute, but I did this thing, and then I just turned around and left like an idiot. <laughs> Damn. I'm bad at video games, dude. Who's in that house? That's what I'm finding out. That house. In the middle of the street. There's nobody in here. Huh. Well, I know that this guy house. wants me to bring his buffaloes back. There was nobody to meet. That's pretty good. Gotta milk those yak cows. Gotta milk those yak cows. Oh, it's you. Oh, see him jacking off in the sleep. I've been trying to get those hungry yak cows back into the pen all day. Some strange creatures tried to steal them earlier. You think you could help an old man and try to get them back into the corral? Yeah, sounds easy. Just gotta hit him. You just punch him. Mind if I punch your cows? I'm punch your cow. No, cow, into the thing, into the thing. Yeah, see, this is why you can't get your cows to go where you want. You don't abuse them enough. Hey, no, no, into the thing, into the thing. Yeah, see, now they're scared of me. Because I hit them. Good farmers practice animal abuse. Okay. What do you think, Levi? Think I'm a good farmer? Good rancher? I'm thinking I already backed off from a terrible joke I could have made, so... Ooh, now I want to know. I'll tell you when the recording's done. Oh, man. I'm going to put it in the comments. I mean, I did already have to censor you for that one joke you made during Super Punch-Out, so... I was about to say what joke, but like you weren't gonna fucking tell me. Hey, did I get all your cows back? Hey, my yak cows are still on the loose. Uh, could you bring them back for me already? I guess not. Jeez. What a joke. Hey, you got one of my things. 
How many cows do you have? Uh, 600. How many do we got here? Three? Oh, God. And that's just like, that's like the rest of the game, turns out. Like the whole rest of it was like a sham. It's another type of collectible. Yeah. It's like. Oh, I'm not going there. It's too hot. <laughs> it's like finding dead Dalmatians in Kingdom Hearts. Oh, man. Did I ever tell you about how impossible that was? Yeah, it's pretty impossible, especially if you missed that one. Yeah, you miss. There's one that you can miss that. In Oogie Boogies. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay, yeah, that, that, yeah. There is one that it becomes impossible to get, but there's another one that, like. Let me just fist this cow's ass real quick while we're talking. Um, that took me forever to get when I played originally because it's, like, at the. At an area where a bonus boss appears after a certain point. Oh, uh, in the desert or in the at the, at the clock, clock, tower. clock tower? Yeah, the one in the desert's pretty hard, but I, I was able to beat him. It took me ages to beat that one the clock tower. And considering that at that time, I also was able to beat Sephiroth uh, in the arena twice. Like, I was really proud of that. But that fucking bonus boss, man. Crazy us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Here we are fucking talking about Kingdom Hearts, even though... I, I saw a post that made me realize that Oogie Boogie, with his build, is just evil Patrick Star. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh my god, because then Squidward's kind of shaped like Jack Skellington. No. We're not doing this, we're stopping. No, you just made a really bad fan art. I think I made a really, really good fan art. SpongeBob is the bathtub. <laughs> Poor narcoleptic farmer. Or I guess I should say rancher. You know what would make this guy's life a lot easier? A gate? A gate. That's literally what I was about to say. Ew! Maybe he is a farmer. Mm -hmm. Is he farming rice? What do you farm in a terrace? Uh, usually a type of short grain like rice. So yeah, he's, he's a rice farmer, okay. Alright. I mean, you saw that hat. That is definitely a rice farming hat. <clears throat> um, I did not mean for it to... Wow. Okay. Check out that funky sculpture shitting on the rocks over there. That sculpture shitting on them rocks over there. So Levi... Hmm? Uh, is Daxter one of the most annoying sidekicks in gaming? Are you counting sidekicks as anyone who just talks while you're playing the game? Yeah. Hmm, I think I need to show you Alma Chow later. Oh, Jesus. See, what I was going to say about him is that he's obnoxious, but they seem like they know that. Because everybody complains about Navi. But they didn't realize, like, you can tell that the game does not realize how obnoxious Navi is. You can also just not push up C. Yeah, that's what I always did. I'm actually playing Ocarina right now, this though. This must fucking be a oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Shh. Who awakens the oracle? Wait. One of you has the light within. From before time. I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Touch nothing but, but the lamp. Hustle, baby, bitch. <laughs> You're fucking. Oh. Cave of Wonders voice. Your Cave of Wonders voice is really good, dude. <laughs> All right, how many monies do I have? Okay. Not enough. Not nearly. Well, enough. you already spent 180. Oh, I'm technically in a different zone right now. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I am in a different zone. Neat. Uh, now I'm in the beach. And we're already 14% done with the game. Wow, that's actually that's pretty good. But I'm going to go into the jungle because I need more. Power cells. Yeah, it's about a seventh. That's not bad. The fuck is this? I don't know, it looks like fun. Hmm. Come on, get the thing. Alright. 
When do you get the upgrade to make your pickup range get bigger? <sighs> I don't know, man. Not soon enough. What is up here? Oh, yeah, that's right. The jungle. You know what? I'm going to say I remember this area. I remember being young, and I remember this area being hard. You remember but I was also 12. You remember falling off the bridge a lot? No, I remember dying a lot, but I don't remember why. I don't know. I remember this game being really hard, but also being really, like, rewarding. So, like, I... I got my ass kicked a lot when I played this when I was young. This is a little straight up car. Yeah, I was about to say, don't get hypnotized. Yeah. But anyway, I remember having difficulties with this game, but I mean, I did 100% it, so it's not like it pissed me off and I quit. I finished it. Because this game is fucking great. Oh no! Industry! How wicked. Oh, this is the beam he was talking about! Can I touch it? Hell yeah, I can! Damn! Oops. I don't know the guy down here. Let's get up on that machine and break the mirror diverting the precursor beam! How was that what I'm supposed to do? Okay, sure. Okay. Okay, then let's do that. Mm-hmm. Just pop the whole island open. Wait, I have a feeling that this is good industry. This is this is like our industry that we set up. There we go. Yeah. Those power doohickeys scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with them. You know, I kind of wish I still had the eco. I know the blue eco is kind of nice, but uh, c'est la vie. Because I want to open that gate. So Daxter's uh, M.O. is touch everything until something good happens. Yeah. You know, exactly what you're not supposed to do with Cable Hunters. That's why he's not even allowed in it. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? There was a big old space there, you joik! They get in front of the giant head and he gives a speech and Daxter is just rubbing his hands against the sand and going, I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> There's uh, so many grains of sand out here, I ain't touched yet. I'm too busy stimming right now. Stimming? Stimming. Oh. Fucking... I was like, stimming? Like, stiny? Like, I don't know. I'll be honest, I'm still not sure what you mean. He's just touching everything, right? Yeah, it's... Uh... Basically, when you're using a really good texture to help focus on something or calm down or something like that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. It's like clicking a pin a whole bunch. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's not like a tick, like a fi fidget. Yeah. Sort of that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Um, remember when I was young, I had a stuffed uh, something. Oh man, it was a party. Wish I'd remember what it was. <laughs> anyway, I had a stuff. Well, party. you blew yourself up with that one, so. Yeah, I know. But he had like this like patch on his arm that was completely worn away, where I would just sit and just rub it with my finger. It feels good, man. It feels good. You know. Like you could have just pretended it just said anything else. Nah, I I I, I ain't front. Like w when I was younger, I had one of those wrestling bu uh, buddies that like. Uh, you know, they were really small and light, so you could like suplex them as a four-year-old, stuff like that. Yeah, I had and I, I had one of the Ultimate Warrior. That's right as hell. It really is. Oops. And keep away from those dark ego boxes. It's like the TNT boxes mm -hmm. from Crash. I had one of those that like. It, it really matched the Ultimate Warrior's uh, personality. It came with a free bag of cocaine and everything. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, I had one of those that like you could beat him up and throw him around, and then you like. Like arms and legs had like clickers in them, so you could like bend them, and it sounded like you were breaking his bones. Mm -hmm. Was it like that, or is it just like a no? It was okay, it okay. was just a stuff thing. Okay, yeah, mine was a stuff thing, but like with that little extra bit in it. It's like and a pillow. Mine was the Undertaker, and so I was constantly just beating the hell out of the Undertaker. Though now I'm thinking about it, I'm not sure oh which my God. version of the Undertaker it was. 
Imagine if there was a storyline where they took one of those dolls and they made it so that it was a voodoo doll. <laughs> that sounds awesome! I'd watch the hell out of that. It honestly sounds like a storyline the Undertaker would be involved with. Voodoo? Fuck you. He already basically is. Yeah. So hell yeah, that's, that sounds great. Let's go for it. Let's let's write in and be like Vince McMahon. We got an idea. Since you brought the Undertaker back after his really tearful farewell. <laughs> God, I said okay. Fuck you, believe he did that shit. You're gonna have to tell me more about that. I don't know the story. Well, you know the thing about how Undertaker was completely undefeated at WrestleMania. Yeah. Well, he eventually got defeated at WrestleMania. Okay. And he's in his, like, I don't know, 50s? Yeah. I mean, that sounds right. He was a big thing in, like, 94, dude. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, basically, uh, what he does is that he takes off his coat, his gloves, and his hat. He folds it up real nice. He lays it down in the center of the ring. Then he walks down, walks down the rampart, goes to his wife, uh, uh, basically uh, kisses her uh, puts his arm over her shoulder and then they walk out wow and that uh, pretty much says something and it just ends with this closing shot of the undertaker's clothes in the middle of the rain with no one else in there damn that's good stuff dude and then he came back <laughs> sure why not and it was basically at that moment i was like oh oh i understand now I understand why wrestling fans can get so mad about certain things. <laughs> God, I was gonna say, is that just how we're about to do this? Okay. Anyway, I made it. Phew. You know, that was really easy, and I remember that being really hard when I was young. Oh well. Um, did, you okay. see, did you see that elevator hiding the load time right there? Did you see that? Uh, A little bit. Like I was saying, I mean, no, it's fine because this is one of the first games I remember that does that. And it really works. So. A, a couple games do that well. Like Metroid Prime did it well with the doors. Yeah. Because you wouldn't really notice until someone else pointed it out for you. Yeah. Everybody jokes about Mass Effect and their elevators. Or a big problem lately are slow walking scenes as you talk to a character. Yeah. Well, hell. What, what did you think of that one, those uh, long writing scenes in Red Dead Redemption of Big Fields of Nothing as you went to the next area? Um, I don't know. That's the thing that, that um, Rockstar games always do. They have those, those scenes like that. Wow, did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn Hell them on. Yes. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. That must be why I was having such difficulty with those other places because the eco vents were off. But now I fixed it. Anyway, yeah, they're obnoxious. That, yeah, like I said, that's, that's the thing that uh, Rockstar games always do. They always have that sort of thing going. I still need to actually play Red Dead Redemption. God, it's so fucking good. I mean, I think you watched me play at one point, right? I, I watched you play a good chunk of it. Yeah. Like, the main reason I haven't played it is because I was like, uh, well, I'm Oops. okay. Yeah, I was like, I'm okay with waiting until they bring it to Steam. Never did. Never did. Never did. The fucking sequel is coming out with the really elaborate horse testicles. What? I don't know about no horse testicles. Yeah, a, a whole bunch of uh, gaming news sites reported it about how the testicles will realistically shrink in cold weather. Okay. I'm not happy about that. Boss fight. This is a very naughty dog boss fight. With very naughty dog music. Yeah, it just needs a little health bar down the corner with its face on it, with its name in the health bar itself. Yeah. Let's see, uh, Game Revolution, Red Dead Redemption 2 has animated horse testicles. <laughs> VG247, Red Dead Redemption 2, gameplay, horse balls, hunting, customization. Oh, I'm dead as shit. 
So you were saying about horse balls? Uh, screen rant, Red Dead Redemption 2, horse balls shrink in cold weather. <laughs> Comic book, Red Dead Damn Redemption it. 2, horse testicles change size depending on the weather. Uh, You're really just like... Whoa. It keeps going. <laughs> Video games, man. Shit's revolutionary. Damn it! I got hit like immediately. You know, I'm gonna say really nice the thing I really like about this game, and it's one of the reasons that I had such a hard time like giving up on it when I was younger, is there's whole lives, and when you die, you respawn immediately. <laughs> like I'm about to die to this guy. There's no question. He's fucking kicking my ass. Got that. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm at, I'm at, I, I got at, right down into the little bug. Well, look, here we go again. Here I am. No reason to stop. Uh, see, can't, see. Can't stop, won't stop. Yeah, man, it's great. Can you use your rolling dog to just skip that entire jump? Uh, I, maybe, maybe, maybe I can like with the eco, maybe. It turns off my eco right there. That's interesting. Probably doesn't want you to have it for the boss fight. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. God, okay, does this bite in to add the colored parts of the floor? I think so. So I just kind of need the, I think it's like this area right here. So I need to kind of leave these things around until they turn off these spikes. Yeah, there we go. I got them. Yeah, I got them this time, definitely. Just need to wait for the lizard bugs to turn off their bump damage. Stop doing that. Why aren't you using your spin? Uh, I was using it a little bit there. I just keep forgetting I have it. I'd say use the spin since you're... Well, it doesn't matter now. Please tell me this doesn't last forever. No, I don't think so because each area has a, has a limited number of rigorous orbs in them. So, I can get a certain amount from him, I'm sure, but yeah, it looks like we're running out. Okay. Now, does he got anything in him? Wow! That was cool. Let me check my progress here in this area. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Up and away! Ah, it was good, man. 